I don't mean to keep talking about Sindel, I really don't, but there's an argument to defend the change that truly shows the complete lack of intelligence in a lot of the more vocal fans of the change. Be grateful you have her at all. Has Baraka been on a brain-eating spree? How does one make an argument that lacking in logic? It's a symptom of the mindset that we should be grateful for content at all, regardless of quality. And yes, I've seen it applied as broadly as the claim that we should praise Netherrealm for making more content for us to buy for MK11, regardless of whether said content is good, bad or ruinous to a character. It speaks to the mindset of a blind fanboy who thinks a fan is supposed to praise the franchise and never criticise it, as doing so means you're not a real fan. The just consume products mindset, as Jay Bauman so perfectly summarised. In this case, the argument is that fans of Sindel should be happy she's in MK11 at all. Alright, listen you fucking cretin. Why should I be grateful that one of my favourite characters made the roster if everything I liked about her has been stripped away? I liked her personality, her story arc, and her relationships with her daughter and former husband. Her personality has been inverted into a generic evil empress, her story arc has been replaced with an incredibly obvious evil all along twist, her relationship with her daughter has become an unexplained hatred, and the one with the guy who once led her to suicide is now her adoring him despite him never once calling her by name. Why the fuck should I be grateful to Netherrealm for gifting me with this total ruination of one of my favourite characters you bootlicking shit heel? It's like saying Batman fans should be grateful for him being in a movie with Superman regardless of the fact that a character famous for his refusal to take a life now has no moral qualms about gunning down criminals in the streets. It's astounding how many people come out with this ridiculous argument. Just once I'd like to see someone actually put some thought into their defence of the change. Just once I'd like to see a legitimate defence of this totally unneeded and poorly implemented retcon that isn't just personal taste or a brain dead fanboy attack on our old fans. Just once.